Okay, so the next topic we're going to learn here is going to be using trigonometry to find angles of elevation or depression. So, quick reminder, elevation is when you're looking up, depression is when you're looking down. That's from the horizontal line, okay? So, if you're in an airplane and you're looking down on um, ground, that would be depression. If you're standing on the ground and you're looking at the top of the tree, it's going to be elevation. Okay, so uh, right now, we're going to be looking for x. That's what we're trying to find. So, let's write what we know. Well, if that is the angle we're trying to find, that's the angle of elevation. This is going to be my opposite, so that's my OPP. And then the opposite of the 90 is going to be your hypotenuse, so that's your HYP. And then attached to it is going to be your adjacent ABJ, right? Adjacent. Okay, so you got your sides figured out. All right, it might be helpful to get this guy kind of moved a little bit. Let's move him over there a little bit. There we go. Okay, so, well, let's think about what we know. We're given the value for the opposite. We're given the value for the hypotenuse. So, if we're thinking about our three possible trig ratios, the so, ka, so, uh, right, which one has the opposite and the hypotenuse? Well, there's only one of those. So it's going to be sine yet again, okay? But it could be any one of those, depending on what the type of the problem is. So if we're working with a sine function, we know we don't know what that angle is, all right? So we can call that angle um, x, right? So sine of a x is going to be equal to opposite over hypotenuse, because that's what sine function is, opposite over hypotenuse. So opposite is 13, hypotenuse is 16, so that's... 13 over 16, and then we are going to try to solve for x. Well, okay, the, the way we undo sine is to take the inverse, okay, or the sine inverse. So you do that right on your calculator. There's, there's nothing else to it. So x is going to be equal to sine inverse, okay, of 13 over 16. And you're going to plug that directly in the calculator, okay? Because when you do the sine inverse on both sides, it undoes the sine, so this guy's gone, and you're just left with x. So x equals the sine inverse of this. We're going to type it right in our calculator. That's, again, under that trig value. You'll see that we get this value right here. So 54.34, okay? And we're rounding to the nearest tenth. It says 10th right here. Okay. So we want to know uh, one digit, right? So one digit past the decimal place. So that's going to be 54. So, all right, let's round here. Let me, so X is equal to 54.3. Right? Degrees. Make sure your calculator is in degrees. If you put in radians, you'll get some kind of goofy result. You don't want. If it's not something that doesn't make sense, you probably have it in radians. So there's your final answer, okay? And, um, yeah, there's nothing else to it. Piece of cake.